Recently, I was walking to an inspection for bed bugs in a New York City apartment. While walking there, the client called me to describe how they felt like the bed bugs were in their hair. So when I arrived, I looked at two bugs they found under a microscope. One was a book louse, and the other one was a head louse. So then they began asking if bed bugs can live in the hair. Since this does come up from time to time, let's talk about why bed bugs do not usually set up camp in your hair. Although bed bugs may be able to crawl through the hair, they can't cling onto a piece of hair like lice or navigate through the hair or fur like fleas. Although it is a valid question, after all, your hair seems like the perfect hiding spot, being that it's warm, close to a food source, so why do bed bugs steer clear of hair? Let's break it down. First, let's talk anatomy. Bed bugs are built for one thing, survival in flat, tight spaces. Their flat oval and flat bodies help them slip into mattress seams, wooden bed frames, couch frames, and so many other places. But the same features make it nearly impossible for them to navigate through hair. They also don't have specialized claws like lice to grab onto hair strands. Then there's their behavior. Bed bugs are stealthy little vampires. They prefer exposed skin, like your arms, legs, and neck. After a quick meal, they're out of there and back to their hiding spot. The last thing they want is to hang out where they could easily get caught or squashed. Scientists were able to show in this study, we'll link to it in the description, that the hair on humans is used as a defense mechanism against bed bugs. Hair has the ability to alert us that something is crawling on our skin, which is why bed bugs have evolved to prefer to go after hairless skin. Another reason bed bugs don't like to hang out in your hair is because bed bugs like to rest during the day undisturbed. So the human head of hair is not an ideal hangout spot for a bed bug. And more importantly, a bed bug is not the type of parasite that lives on us like fleas, ticks, or lice. Instead, they live near us. Bed bugs are obligate blood-sucking parasites that feed on blood and then return to the harborage area. A bed bug is attracted to its harborage area through pheromones, and they're drawn to hang out near their bed bug feces. So as soon as the bed bug fills up on blood, it's going to want to retreat to its harborage area and not hang out in your hair. If you're sleeping in an extremely infested area, can a bed bug accidentally get into your hair? Well, absolutely. It can get onto your head, crawl across your hair, but generally, they're not going to form a harborage in your hair. So rest easy. Your hair is safe from these bloodsuckers, but just keep an eye on your bed, couch, and other seating areas instead. And if you've ever wondered how to keep bed bugs out of your life altogether, hit that subscribe button because we've got you covered with expert tips. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, share it with someone who's just as curious or just as paranoid about bed bugs as you are.